The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome to another Goldmine 101, our regular series of short presentations giving you hints and tips for getting the most out of Goldmine CRM. And in this session, I'm going to cover a couple of key ways in which you can customize Goldmine to improve the way it works for you to match your business requirements. So hello, my name is Tim Wilmot, my company Wizard Systems. We're a specialist CRM systems supplier who help out mainly small and mid-sized organizations improve their sales productivity, marketing and customer support through the use of simple and affordable solutions like Goldmine. Now this presentation will be about 10 minutes, quarter hour or so uh, in duration. It's not meant to be an in-depth training. Customization can be a big topic with any CRM solution to tailor it to your requirements, particularly if you're just starting off with, with Goldmine. But of course it can be an ongoing process as you start or as you continue using Goldmine. Um, you come up with extra requirements, extra needs, extra ideas on how you can tweak the system to get it to track the information that you want to know about. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only, as you would have heard when you joined the session. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel, and I'll do my best to answer those at the end. Also at the end, I'll give you a little update on Goldmine product news, just to keep you in the loop there. Um, with Goldmine versions and so on. And this session has been recorded after the presentation. You will get an email from our GoToWebinar system with a link to the recording, and it will most likely be up on our YouTube channel as well. Brief mention about my company, Wizard Systems, then leading supplier of Goldmine and other CRM solutions. We provide a total service around Goldmine of course, we provide the product and upgrades, implementation, any kind of training, whether that be as regards to the location, that can be at your place or our place, or of course, it can be online and support as well. We've got a, a very active, permanently manned Goldmine help desk ready to answer your calls. Okay, so the basics of customizing Goldmine. I'm going to cover two key areas in this session where you can actually customize Goldmine, fields and detail records. First of all, fields, that's probably the most obvious one to start with. And of course, with Goldmine, when you start using the system, you get standard fields in the, in the application for tracking all of the contact details you'd expect, the contact contact details you'd expect, but you can then create your own fields for further profiling and categorizing your contact. And that's essentially what we're trying to do with these customizations. The primary aim is to provide richer information about uh, the people that you're dealing with every day and um, allowing you to record extra information that could be very useful in the way that you handle that client, service that client, do reporting, marketing, that would be a big area. You know, there's some important information you want to track to help you deliver more targeted marketing, then it's important to, to consider, is your Goldmine system reflecting that and is it tracking that information? So, you can create new fields. Now, a caveat here, there's, with users of Goldmine, there's a pecking order, and there will be a master user, an administrator of Goldmine, might be more than one person if it's a big, if you've got a big implementation. So there are sort of, if you like, ordinary users, but then there are master users, and they have the ability to, certainly to create these new fields, to customize the system, so if you're not a master user, um, then consult your, your, the, the owner of your Goldmine system, the, the master user, for ideas on how to do this. And that, that master user will, will inevitably know how to do what I'm about to do. Another caveat, make sure you've done a backup. 
on all of this because there's there's no way to undo. You know, if, you, if you've created a new field, you if, you if it's wrong in some way, you've got to adjust it or delete it. So there's no edit undo. Make sure you've got a backup. And when you add a new field, it's going to add that field to all of the records in your database. So um, two things there. It could take some time to create that field. Not an awful lot of time. I mean, we're talking about maybe a minute or two maximum normally. But also users need to be logged out as well. Um, it, it is possible there is a backdoor way of doing this while people are logged in, but it's not recommended. So master user, make sure you've got a backup, make sure people are logged out. But quite simply, and I'm, I'm a master user on this um, demo system here, I can right click um, where, I, where I have the top half of the screen and I've got the fields tab displayed. That's where you will see primarily initially your user defined fields. So user defined fields are the fields that you create, the fields that you've made, all right? And they can be in separate views within that field screen. You can also put them on your own tabs as well. So if it's really important information, and you don't want it sort of lurking down in the bottom half of that screen, you can promote them. You can put them on a tab of their own accord. And also you could put them in the top half of the screen where you've got some spare space. But B, just remember about your users and the, the different monitors they may be using and just to make sure that um, everyone can see that information. The last thing you want is some information disappearing off the right hand side or being truncated and they can't see the completeness the entirety of that field anyway to create a new field as a master user there it is there on my little local menu and this is where i can create a new field here in the database now, all of these fields will have a field name. So you've got to think about what the field name is going to be. It's going to be prefixed with the, with the letter U. You can't get away from that. And the fields will be character, numeric, or date. Those are the only three options you've got. And obviously, with a character or numeric field, you can decide the length of the field that will be allocated for that in the database. So you could create a brand new field there, and it will create it in your system and rebuild the system once you've done that. Or I could pick an existing field that I might have created and now place it on the field somewhere. So this new field creation will create the field in the database and also allow you to place that field where you want to on, on the screen as well. So I can just drag and drop this field and slot it alongside, try and align, try and align those colons there. So we've got the field label and the field data, all right, quite simple. I can double click on this little box here and I can then go in and um, actually define some more detailed information about the field. So I could give it um, a, a label. How are my users going to see it in the database? I can decide how much space is, is allocated for that field as well. I can define colors, I can define security, who can update it, who can see it as well, but very easy to, to, um, to, to create that field and then drag and drop it and place it um, on the screen. So that is a custom user defined field. Typically you'd use a field for information where for this person, so excuse the uh, excuse the um, the name there, Fred Test Test Record, where this person, this company, has one of this thing that you are creating. So Fred Test, for example, he's only got one job title. He's only got one location. He's only got one manager who looks after him. If, however, the information that you want to record could be many so fred test has many of these for example he has many products he has many contracts he has many interests and so on that's where the details record comes in 
So that details tab there allows you to record what I would refer to as the one to many. This contact record has got many of these. So in that on that detail tab there, you will see loads of existing information. Well, typically you might see email addresses. If Fred's got multiple email addresses, you'll see those there as well. So to create a new detail record, I just right click there, new detail record. And there's some existing ones I've got there, but I could create a new one. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm tracking contracts, for example. And you can see there some other ideas of, um, of some detail records. So that slips into the, the um, drop down list there and I can select that there. I could select um, certain, a certain type of contract. We've also got additional user defined fields. So if I want to track other information about the contract, I can store that there as well and search on that information. So very quick and easy way of creating a detail record, but I can create many of these. So I can right click again, select new, go to my detail drop down list, another contract. Let's actually pop in a contract number there. Now I've got two contact records and so on. So there's a very easy way there of creating that one to many um, uh, relationship, if you like. So fields, one to one, generally, all right? There are sneaky little ways of going around that, but just think of it like that. Details tab, one to many. Now, there are many other areas of Goldmine that you can further customize. Some of these areas may be a little more advanced than what I've just gone through there and would require a little bit of consultation with my company, Wizard Systems, to best advise you or maybe do that thing for you. So there is an API, a way of integrating Goldmine with other like-minded applications. There's the GM Plus View tab as well that we have covered on other 101 sessions, a bit like a web page in Goldmine. There's record typing in Goldmine. So you can have different types of records. So typically in Goldmine, you're tracking records of people and companies, but if you want to track a completely different type of record, like a thing, or an object or a machine, you can do that as well with record typing and the whole screen will dynamically change to reflect um, that, uh, that type of record. So uh, we, we may cover those on other sessions, but I'd just like on, on this one, just to keep it fairly simple, fields and detail records, very quick and easy way of um of customizing gold mine of course with fields you do have the drop down list as well um in there so if this is typically a field where you're putting in some kind of text you would then populate by clicking on you you then populate and in alphabetical order you're going to present to your user the common entries for that field why would you do that well you're going to make sure that everything is consistently added to the Goldmine system. So if there's a particular way of spelling something, or you've got an acronym or abbreviation, then everyone, everyone using the system is going to enter that in the same way. And the way that you find it as well, when you create filters and groups, the way that you find it will be a lot easier for you. So a quick way of customizing Goldmine, as I normally do now, if you've got any of those listening live, um, if you've got any question around this feature, pop that into the question section on your meeting control panel, please. Uh, question from Philippa. Is there a cost for the API and do you have documentation? Uh, there's no cost. The API is included with Goldmine. It's a two-way API, so we can pass information to another application. You can bring information into Goldmine from the other application. And there is extensive documentation on this and examples as well that we can send you. Um, 
secrets if you want us to. Uh, thank you. Um, Adam, can you restrict people entering in options to the drop down list? Yes, you can on each of those. Um, each of those uh, drop down lists, you can restrict. You can you can disable the ability of people to invent their own their own options. Which um, yeah, you you that's a good idea to try and do that because you don't want people coming up with, for example, if it's job titles or drop down lists and job titles, you don't want people maybe maybe necessarily um, inventing their own job titles or different ways of spelling managing director or whatever. So uh, it could could make for an easier system. Neeraj, uh, what is the GDPR on your screen? Uh, that is, okay, so, so Goldmine can, any CRM database could help you be compliant with the GDPR legislation. Um, sorry, I'm not a legal expert, so I'm not sure the status of GDPR in the UK, I'm pretty sure it is still a com um, a compliance uh, requirement um, of the UK government. So, yeah, it's just a way of recording checks and the leg legit. If I can get the word out, the legitimacy of your right to record um, that person's details and permission levels and so on. Uh, just. Uh, you could we we have actually done little webinars little workshops on this to goldman itself will not be gdpr gdpr com, will not be automatically at the flick of a switch be gdpr gdpr compliant you need to tweak it a bit as in what i've been doing now we're creating fields possibly detail records possibly um activity types to record the that GDPR compliance journey or process in your goldmine system. So it can be done and we can advise you on that if that's um, important for you. Right, don't think there's any more questions that have come through. So this presentation is as, as of June 2021, um, just to give you an update on Goldmine training. Well, we are actually starting to open up our training center now. We are starting to go out to visit our customers again in the UK. So if you've got any requirement for Goldmine training, that can be at your place, or you can come to our training center where we've, we've got um, adequate spacing between the desks in our training room, very good um, COVID compliant, uh, COVID um compliance there so please contact us for details on that and of course online as well the latest release of goldmine we have had a hot fix released on the 17th so um what's that five five or six days ago um so you, we get these major releases of goldmine so we're at the the, the major release is 2020.1 and then after that, we got a three. So this is the third hot fix. There was only a couple of hot fixes on this. It will be up on our Goldmine blog shortly. Uh, you need to have a maintenance contract um, for this. There is also being tested right now the Goldmine 2021 version. I'm sorry, I'm not able to tell you exactly what's in this, but um, that will be a major release of Goldmine available to our maintenance customers. and. Um, this has been released for beta testing, uh, I think actually this week um, or today even. Um, so our beta testers will be putting that through its paces before it's available for general release to the Goldmine community. There is going to be a 64-bit Word link, but if you are using the Excel and Outlook link, that is still 32-bit. So on the whole, stick with 32-bit Office implementation if you want to link Goldmine to, to um, Word, Excel, or Outlook. Right, I think that's up. You're up to date then on the Goldmine news as of the 23rd of June, 2021. Um, as I said, the only way 
of getting upgrades is to be on maintenance. There are some special offers. If you've, if your maintenance had expired some time ago, please contact us at Wizard Systems. There are some promotions to take advantage of that Goldmine are running right now. And it's good to keep up to date with these latest versions for new features and also compatibility with later operating systems, SQL versions, and so on. Always a good good idea. You know, if, if you're relying on Goldmine, if Goldmine is a key, key tool in your company, make sure it's kept up to date. So that's it, me done then on our Goldmine 101 session. Uh, we'll have another one soon for you on a completely different topic. Uh, but please email me, tim at wizard-systems.com if you've got any ideas for a future topic that you think would be of interest to other Goldmine users out there. I'd love to hear from you. There's our other contact details there. Um, other ways of connecting with us um, up on our YouTube channel as well. Just do a search for Wizard Systems and you'll find loads and loads of Goldmine videos up there on, on all different aspects of um, Goldmine. So those listening live, thanks very much um, for attending. Thanks for watching and we'll catch up with you on the next session. Bye-bye.